I'm going to show you how to make the classic Brazo de Mercedes. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. 8 extra large egg whites, 1 teaspoon cream of tartar, 1 cup sugar, 2 tablespoons cornstarch. For the filling, 8 egg yolks, 1 cup condensed milk, 1 fourth cup of butter, and 1 half teaspoon of lemon extract or vanilla. Let's make the uh, roll, the meringue roll for the brasso. I have here the egg whites, cream of tartar, and let's whip this. When the mixture is frothy, you add in the sugar. And you continue to beat until it's uh, medium stiff. You may add vanilla if you like. You can also omit vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now well, let's check. Okay, so this is what we want. Okay. And then I'm going to add the cornstarch. What is the purpose of the cornstarch? So the brass of the Mercedes will not whip or you no, know, you don't see a lot of moisture. By the way, when you beat the egg whites, beat it only at medium speed. So you get fine bubbles because bi bigger, uh, faster speed will produce large bubbles, air bubbles that will collapse immediately. Whereas smaller air bubbles are more stable. So we fold in the uh, cornstarch. As I said, the cornstarch will hold the extra water. So your Brasso de Mercedes will not be very watery the day after, okay? Once you add the cornstarch, then it starts to get soft again, okay? So don't be surprised. This is a 12 by 16 baking pan. Uh, if it will not fit your oven, you can use a 14 by 10 or you can use 15 by 11. Your Brasso will just be thicker. This one, the Brasso will be thinner. Thinner but longer, okay? Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to spread this out. By the way, uh, you should have an overhang here, about one inch, so you can lift this up. Okay, it's like a handle. Spread this out. Before you buy your baking pans, please measure your oven so that the baking pans that you buy will definitely fit your oven. Okay. Okay, you try to make it as uh, even and as smooth as possible. So when you roll it, they'll also be uh, even. Okay, here. And then you finish it off with a cake comb, just for a design, okay? So we have a cake comb, you do it this way. Now it's telling me that this side is thicker. This side is thinner a bit. Okay. Then let's put this in a 320 degree oven. 320 degrees. You bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. When the top is slightly brown and it's ready. Okay, let's put this in the oven. We will make the Brussels filling, which is actually a yam. I have here the eight egg yolks. Then you have the condensed milk. I will add the flavoring and the butter later. For the flavoring, you can use vanilla, but I always like to use lemon. Once it starts to uh, uh, heat up, I'll add the butter and I'll add the flavoring. Just very little flavoring, not too much. 
so that it uh, it will just you know take out the very eggy taste of the egg yolks this one uh, low heat huh? because we don't want scrambled eggs once it starts to boil you will notice it will start to thicken we will prepare uh, the brasso is almost ready now so we prepare by putting a cheesecloth or a towel and then we put parchment paper you put a little shortening so it will not stick not so much just a little you can even just wipe this then you mix together this is confectioner sugar and cornstarch you mix this together and sprinkle it here make sure you have um, sugar and starch all over okay then let's go to the oven we have our brasso this is after 35 minutes and then using this handle you lift this okay okay how do you know it's done it's dry see if you touch it your hands won't stick okay let me move this a little bit so I have a little bit more space okay because I need to put this here okay and then we flip it and then slowly we open this up. this one I tore this when I lifted it I'm sorry okay then we have our filling we'll put this in a pastry bag it's easier to put the pastry uh, to put the filling in a pastry bag than to spread it on the brasso roll because there's a tendency you will break it but it's normal to make you know you make brasso and it breaks it's normal you can see that sometimes here okay and then after you pipe you spread it out like this okay and then holding this you roll when you roll brasso it's just like folding it you don't really, really roll it like jelly roll you just fold it Oops, sorry like this okay then we roll this okay and then we cool this and then after that we unfold all right I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded let's unwrap our brazo okay and then let's take out the paper okay before we transfer it to a plate let's put some where this is cornstarch and uh, confectioner sugar if you put only confectioner sugar uh, it will become watery it will weep okay let me uh, put it on a nice plate so you can see what how it looks inside